change our warrior over from X shallow to an XD so that we can do deep tillage for fall or new zones. Um, this is already set up as a shallow. So what I'm gonna do, I need to move my containment arm to the furthest point to the rear of the, the row unit. Now we'll allow for a little more clearance once we take our tillage off to do the swap out. So I'm using a three quarter socket for that. No, um, place your toolbar. I like, I like to work at it about a 40, uh, 40 degree angle. It's comfortable for me. So if you want it a little higher or a little lower, you, you just make it work for yourself. Um, just make note that when you take your coulter, containment coulter arm loose, I like to back a nut completely loose and then, uh, and then I'll finger place it on, take my other nuts completely off. That way the arm doesn't just fall on you. This one in. Sometimes you need to use an extension. Tight places. So what I'm going to do is move two of my bolts back to where I'm going to now remount my arm. Now one can take your containment culture arm and you can pull, you can lift it up and pull it back a little bit. There's less force. Holding that up, needed to hold that in place so it doesn't fall on you. And I just slide it back, and I'll, I'll pull it back and it doesn't take a lot of force. Again, fly a nut. Now I'm not holding it anymore. Depending on your zone conditions and what you need, but we we generally at ETS we typically will taper, we'll pull our containment culture out at the front side. So I just hold my arm out. Take And now that's in place. Right. I'm going to switch over to an, an inch and an eighth socket and use an inch and an eighth wrench the rest of, for the rest of this process. So what we're going to do here is on our CC arm, we're going to loosen the bolt in this pivot point. All you need to do is loosen it, and then I'm going to drop down. I'm going to take my deep shallow tillage nut completely off, and we'll come back to that bolt later. You don't lose your hardware. Make sure, one of the safety things I do, as long as you leave your bolt in place, so I'm going to leave this bolt, I'm going to leave this bolt in place, I'm going to leave this bolt in place, and just take it off my nuts. That will, that will help prevent from your arm swinging down or getting your hand caught when it pivots.
Now I'm ready to remove my tillage arm. So I take my bolt out at the bottom. And I'll take my three quarter bolt out. And then you'll just set your tillage arm away. And then I'm going to go to the other side of the row unit and I'm going to take my long tillage arm off. And it's the same process. And note, in the shallow tillage for the X row unit, we have this shorter cutter bar. We'll switch it to a, a four hole cutter bar for the deep. So you want to remove that as well. I'm going to grab my, my deep till arms. This is our deep till tillage arms. Notice the, the, uh, the beveled cutout, the 45 in it. That would go towards the dirt when you install it. spacer pin here. This will now move up to this position, your middle hole for your gauge wheel holder. And then uh, and then your deep till arm is going to go in this position. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm going to just try to put this up out of the way so you can see what's going on. I like to take it Careful and you keep it in there. All right. So if you find yourself having a little bit of difficulty lining up your your uh, your pin, I take my bolt. I'm pretty close. Just give her a little. Bit. That'll that'll put it back in its place. Just kind of you want to hand tight it to assure alignment. So you don't wreck your hardware or the pin. Take your three and a quarter bolt, and that'll be for your tillage arm. Again, just good to double check and make sure that your angle is to the dirt. And I take my my grade five two and a quarter bolt that goes at the bottom end of your tillage arm first. And then into the parallel end bar.
Now I'm gonna go grab my fall tillage cutter bar. And that looks like this. That's it. Now, I like to tighten one side and, and then I will put in the, uh, the deep till cog after that for the installation. Before Now for this next part, I like to have a helper. So if you have one, you can do it by yourself, but. Okay, so I've installed my deep till cog. Notice with the, the tillage pointing forward. One thing I forgot to mention, you do want to adjust your furt tube to be two finger placements back to make room for the cog and then tighten that up. Just to hold it. And then you can finish tightening. And now the last and final thing is to take your CC arm and you'll need the assistance or if you have a forklift handy, take a little pressure off your CC tube. You'll pull this shell where your shell tillage placement bolt is at you'll slide that out move it up one hole to the deep tillage placement and then and reapply your lock nut and you're ready to go to the field nut that done and this nut we put three to three to four threads on it does not need to be all the way taut Thanks for watching this service video. Call Environmental Tillage Systems with any questions or to order parts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more videos. Find additional information on SoilWarrior.com.